Hey, 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 it's the Red Carpet Rain where we are supreme. Today we're going to talk about WWE Backlash 2023 review. Now we will go off from each match one by one, and then I will give you my initial, initial review of what I think of the event. Let's start off with a quick rundown of these matches. First, we have Bianca Belair versus Io Sky for the Raw Women's Championship. Bianca Belair retains the championship after KOD, despite the interference of damage control, trying to help Io Sky win. Next, we have Seth Rollins versus Omos. Seth Rollins wins this match with a curve stop off the top rope. Next match we have is the triple threat match for the United States Championship. Austin Theory retains his championship after Bobby Lashley spares Bronson Reed and he pushes Bobby Lashley out of the ring and he pins Bronson Reed for the cover. One, two, three. Next match we have Rhea Ripley, SmackDown Women's Champion versus Selena Vega. Good match, good match. But Rhea Ripley retains her SmackDown Women's Championship after a riptide. Next, we have a six-man tag of KO, Sami Zayn, Matt Riddle versus the Bloodline. Now, this was a good match as well. It was telling a great story. It showed tease of a potential Bloodline breakup between it was tensions flare between Solo Sokoa and Jey Uso. But they did win the match against KO, Sammy, and Matt Riddle. Next match we have, which is one that they consider a double main event. Ad Bunny versus Damian Priest. Great match, great match, great storytelling, great back and forth. Bad Bunny wins against Damian Priest. It was great cameo appearances by Savio Vega and also Carlito Cool and LWO. Last match of the evening, we have the main other part of the double main event, Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. Now, this was a good match in my opinion. Despite what critics say of the finish, Cody Rhodes defeats Brock Lesnar. There was extensive, ex- a lot, lot, lots of extensive amounts of blood for Brock Lesnar. And what I liked about this, there was no blading. He really did bleed for real. It was just great storytelling. Even after the match, the referees and officials had to give Brock Lesnar a towel to cover up to get the blood off his face because there was so much blood. But this was a good match in my opinion. Um, Cody could move on from this and he could continue on and start the tournament for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now, my review of this whole event, I would give this an 8 out of 10. Reason for this being, I did not like the botch that Bianca Belair had when she dropped Io Sky on her face when she picked her up in the air with one arm. Also, I have an issue with Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley being drafted to different brands than they were on previously. They still hold the SmackDown Raw Women's Championships. Rhea Ripley is on Raw. Bianca Belair is on SmackDown. They're going to more likely do the title exchange swap, just like similar to Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch, because both women retain their championships. I do not like that at all. I think it's pointless. It it doesn't make any sense in my opinion. So that that didn't make any sense. I don't know why they would do it that way, but that's how WWE wants to do it. I want this to be a real draft. Hopefully with this draft, there's no more superstars appearing on both shows unless they're the undisputed tag team champions like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. But nonetheless, this was a great event. Puerto Rico was living it up. Great crowd. 8 out of 10. There are reports saying that they may not have an event there for a while. But if it's, that's the case, this was, was a great way to put it out for the fans in Puerto Rico. Now, 
Until then, it is O U.